It was 13 years ago, and I was at the OMF Language Centre in Lopuri, Thailand. It was 2pm, and I was just about to start my one-on-one -on -one language lesson with Crew Wee. I'd arrived in Thailand only three or four months before that, but I had arrived at the worst time in Thailand because it was the hot season and 2 p.m. in the afternoon in the hot season was not a good time to have a language lesson. And at that time, I was learning two phrases. One was Mungan, which means also, and Nuikan, which means together. Now those two phrases end in gun, so they were very easy to confuse. And I got them confused sometimes. And Kru Wee came in and she started by the conversation by saying that she was so tired and she wanted to go to sleep. Now I knew in my mind what I wanted to say. I wanted to say I wanted to go to sleep also. But then I was in a dilemma. Which one was it? Was it Mungan or was it Luekan? And I wasn't sure which one to use. But I remember the advice that I was given, that if you want to be a good language learner, then you have to be brave, you have to be willing to make mistakes, you just have to go for it. That's the best way to learn the language. And at that moment, I took the advice and I went for it. I said in my most confident Thai, I wanted to go to sleep also. But then Kru Wee's face just froze and then she burst out in laughter. Now in Thailand, yes, you laugh when, when something's funny, but you also laugh when you're, when you're really embarrassed. And my face just turned red as I just realized that I had a 50-50 chance of getting it right. And I'd gotten it wrong and I just told my Thai teacher that I wanted to sleep together. Now in my 13 years in Thailand, I've made hundreds, perhaps even thousands of language blunders during that time. But this language blunder, I will never forget.